Okay, hi guys. Uh, in this video, we will see like how to remove a package from uh, Laravel. Actually, many of you asked like how to remove a package from Laravel. So we will discuss two ways to remove the Laravel package. So yeah, let's dive. Uh, let's dive straight into it. Okay, uh, this is just a simple Laravel application uh, running at localhost one two three four. I'll just refresh it. Okay, we will add a very popular Laravel package. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we'll add composer. Socialite. So uh, we'll add the socialite and we'll see like how it changes the file. And once uh, it is installed, then we'll look at like how to remove the package uh, using two main ways. Okay, uh, the package is installed. Okay, uh, let's check the composer files. Composer JSON file is updated. Uh, so let's look at okay, Laravel Socialite is installed version 5.2. Okay, let's just remove it using remove package, remove method, composer remove. Let's remove it using remove method. So this is the main method, a main way or proper way to remove a package. Uh, it will actually remove the package and remove all of its dependencies that it installed. In this case, it was just leak over to one client. Okay, cool. It removed. So yeah, let's check. Ah, uh, Laravel Socialite is being removed. Okay, so we'll install again, and now we'll look um, how to remove using another way. Was required. Uh, okay, it has installed the package. Uh, now let's just remove directly from uh, composer.json, uh, and uh, let's run composer install um, if you run composer install it will show you there is nothing means on update let's run composer update uh, okay now uh, it has just removed the laravel socialite and it's dependent okay now the problem with La composer remove and composer update is uh, when you run composer remove it will just remove that specific package and its dependent dependencies but if you run a remove package from Composer JSON and try to run Composer update, what it will do is it will re actually check uh, any update in the specific package. Uh, it will try to update that as well. But in our case, we just installed Laravel, so there is no actually update in any of the package. So that's it's fresh. That's why it didn't actually update any other package. But if it was an old repository and there was some incremental updates in any of the dependencies or projects, so it will definitely uh, update those packages as well. So it's better to use Composer Remove always. Okay, yeah, that's it for this video. Cheers, bye.